in this video we will find the derivative of the function y is equal to cosine of x y so first of all we will take the derivative of both sides with respect to x so we have dy by dx is equal to d by dx of cosine of x y now we know that the derivative of cosine of x is minus sine of x but we can see that we have x y in place of this x so suppose that this x y is u and we have dy by dx is equal to d by dx of cosine of u again in, in order to apply this formula this variable and this variable must be same but here we have different variables so we must have du in place of this dx so we will replace it by du and multiply it by du by dx. So this is the chain rule of differentiation. Now we have, we can take the derivative of cosine of u which is minus sine of u. And then the derivative of u. So we have d by dx of xy. Now we will apply the product rule of differentiation which is derivative of uv is equal to u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of u. So we can apply this formula over here and we can see that we have x in place of u and y in place of v. So we will put u and v in the respective places in this formula. Now we have dy by dx is equal to minus sine of xy and here we will apply the product rule of differentiation so we have x times derivative of y plus y times derivative of x and then we have dy by dx is equal to minus sine of xy multiply by x times dy by dx plus the derivative of x is 1 so 1 times y is y and then we open this bracket so we have dy by dx is equal to minus x times sine of xy dy by dx and minus y times sine of xy Now we can take this factor or this term on the other side of equation. So we have dy by dx plus x times sine of xy dy by dx is equal to minus y times sine of xy. And now we can take dy by dx common. So we have 1 plus x times sine of xy in the bracket multiply by dy by dx is equal to minus y times sine of xy and now we take this factor on the other side so we can see that this is multiplied by dy by dx so when we take on the other side it will be divided by minus y sine of xy so we have minus y sine of xy upon 1 plus x times sine of xy and this is the required answer.